Hi Pisces, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your weekly reading for January 29th through January 20, not January, damn it, January 29th through February 4th. Now this is a love reading for singles, okay? This is for the sign of Pisces. You may be um, on your own, okay, <laughs> obviously it's a singles reading, but you might, might not be feeling very grateful about it or feeling good about it. You really need to realize that you have a lot to be grateful for, okay? Enjoy the finer things in life. And it, with this Nine of Pentacles reversed, you may be feeling like you aren't. And you may be feeling like you you lost some financial security of some sort. And you may be feeling uh, financially insecure at this time, but I feel like you have enough but you may be you may be feeling like you don't okay oh we have a devil here there's a karmic tie all right there's a karmic tie here between you and another person that is uh very you know there's a, a lot of chemistry between you and another person um you may be tied to somebody that you just can't break the bond with for some reason uh, there's lack of wish fulfillment and there's a need to heal, okay? You, you're not th seeing things from the brighter side when this star card is reversed. It's like maybe you've lost hope. Oh, the Ten of Swords. You know, but it is a time of liberation. I think you have uh, things should start to be getting better. You should be looking at this through new lenses, okay? This is a time to become who you are, who you want to be. It's a time of soul searching. It really is a time of liberation coming up from the ashes, okay? Oh, there's been some relationship problems, all right? And that's what that's what you're still tied to. You're not over something yet. Uh, with this Ten of Cups reversed, it has to do with a past relationship that you're still holding on to. Um, but the storm is over, okay? The storm is over. So just, uh, the you know, it feels like there's a dream that has died, all right? And you just can't let go with this death card next to the devil. It's like maybe there's a relationship that has died, but there's a karmic tie. There's a chemical um, connection. You know, there's chemistry with this person, a magnetic connection. There's some kind of connection with somebody that you have been in a relationship with that you can't let go of because this death card is reversed. You can't, you can't start over. You know, um, there may have been a third party situation involved and you may just feel, or you could feel just like, I don't have nothing to celebrate at this time. I really don't. It is also a time of forgiveness. Maybe you need to forgive yourself for something. Okay. Um, it's time for you to have faith and trust. All right. And make a change it's up to you to make a change all right a change is needed it's time to bring balance back to your life um i see that you're at a crossroads and there's probably uh, a path right in front of you that you are being urged to go down but this this whatever it is this path that's in front of you you are reluctant to step onto it because of this karmic tie with this person that you are connected to it feels like you have a a new door in front of you but you can't go through it all right because you need to have faith and trust all right and there's a lack of faith and trust here you may have to make a choice between two people all right um, it feels like with the seven of pentacles reversed you're very dissatisfied Maybe you've had some unrealistic expectations, okay? And, but now, you know, you have a new opportunity. When this Two of Wands comes out in a reading, it means you have a new opportunity in front of you. But you're going to have to take action, and you're going to have to have faith, all right? But let me go ahead and zoom this in. Thank you. I feel like somebody didn't invest the time that they needed to invest on something. 
perhaps in a relationship, this is the investment, this is the relationship, but it's reversed and it probably left you single. I'm not sure. Um, and now, you know, you have a new door opening or a new path in front of you, but you can't walk through it because of this this tie that you are connected to. And right now you feel like you've lost hope that a dream has died. And you really should be looking at it as a time of liberation, a time of renewal when you're not. You know, it's a time of soul searching, which I see that that is what you're doing. You're soul searching. But, you know, the, the real situation here is that you need to go down this path that is in front of you. There is a path that has opened up in front of you, but you're not stepping onto it. Because of some feud. There's been some kind of feud between in a relationship, almost like a family feud. There's been a completion of a relationship that you just can't let go of. But there's observation going on, whether you're stalking or watching your ex, or this is often an ex, or your ex is watching you. You know, there's some stalking going on and observation and trying to make a decision and mentally, re re mentally restless energy here. Okay, I feel like you are having conflicting thought, thoughts that are making you mentally restless regarding, you know, the past relationship that you were in. And you, you're, this right here is a lot of disappointment, emotional disappointment over this, this loss. And you are definitely clinging to the past. And you're being called to look at things from a new perspective and to speak up. Speak up. It's time for a do-over. It's time to start over. And offer love. Somebody's not offering love. But it's right in front of them. It's like there's a new beginning in love that could happen if you would step onto the path. Open the door. It may take some work. Yes, it is. Hard work is needed. But you have the skills to do it. There's no need to compete. There's no need to fight. You may feel like you're in some kind of competition. All right. But it, it's really not. There's no need. There's no need for it. There's no need to compete for anything. But there's lack of forward movement because... You're not taking action. You have to master your emotions. Step outside of your comfort zone and open the new door. Communicate, communicate, communicate. You might have to compromise too. But you really have to listen to your inner guide. Okay? Listen to your inner guide. Follow the path that serves you. It doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. It's all about what you think. And this card comes out to say, listen to your inner guide. Be, be so comfortable with yourself that you are able to follow your own path with passion, okay? With knowing, with comfort. Follow your own path. Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. That's what I was trying to get to come out. Because you're dealing with love here. True love. Perhaps somebody that you have been karmically tied to. I think it's your ex. Because this is your ex. Okay. This could be new love. There could be new love. And it could go both ways. But when the queens come up reversed, it's usually an ex. Okay. And this right here is an ex as well. So, but anyway, um, I feel like there's a detachment here. There's some kind of detachment, feeling like you can't communicate, feeling like you can't offer love, feeling a little cold-hearted, maybe even feeling like you're the victim here. But all you have to do is step outside of your comfort zone. That's all you have to do. Find that strength within you. You may feel like you've been robbed of your dream, okay? You may, be, may feel like you've been cheated. Or you may have even been cheated on. I mean, that's, a, that's the Seven of Swords right there. 
But this card is telling me this is uh, the Hierophant. It is the sign of Taurus. This is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have Aquarius here. We have Capricorn. But this card is telling me that you are to follow your inner guide and believe in yourself and follow your own path. It doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. Your inner guide is trying to teach you something and trying to tell you to do what's right for you, not what's right for anybody else. There's been a split. There's been some kind of breakup and you know it. And this is what you've been you've been you've been thinking about it. You've been probably looking at your ex. I mean, that's what I see here. Your ex has been looking at you and you're clinging. This is clinging to the past commitment. And now the future's in your hands, Pisces. See? This guy, he's looking down at what? The loss. Okay? He's looking down at the loss. But the future is in his hands. All he has to do is look up and take action. There's love in his hands if he takes action and offers it or sees it, acknowledges it. But you have to stop resisting. As long as you hold on and don't give in, Then, then you're just going to keep clinging. Keep clinging. It's time to let go. It's time to let it go. And I feel like you are very, or somebody, is very focused on everything but love right now. I'm going to bury these emotions in my work. I'm going to focus on my financial foundation. And I'm not going to think about love. Because I deserve more. I deserve more. But this is about give and take. Okay, to have peace and harmony in a relationship, there has to be equal give and take. All right, when the Six of Pentacles comes up, it says that um, it's a time of generosity. It's a time to give. Give your love. You may feel a lack of passion. You may feel a lack of drive at this time. You may feel like you can't get out of your own tracks. Because there's a soulmate connection here. <laughs> there's a soulmate connection here. And I feel like many of you are clinging to the past. And, you know, there's an opportunity perhaps for new love to come in. But you can't accept it because you can't get over your past. There's a soulmate connection here. <laughs> I know I keep repeating that, but it's true. Okay. This is a soulmate connection. This is a soulmate connection. This is a, there is a soulmate connection here. Um, and another queen of reversed, okay? I think it's with somebody from your past that you cannot let go of. And now you're feeling a lack of drive. It feels like things are falling apart. You feel like things are falling apart because you know how shit rolls downhill. You're feeling very ungrateful. You're feeling like you don't have, like your your money's going downhill, you know, stuff like that. And that's how it is. When your love life is a mess, everything else goes to shit. All right. Oh, what the heck? What is this? It's about struggling through this. You have to struggle. You have to struggle through this. It's time to let go of a thought. It's time to have a new outlook. Stop resisting this change. It's time to have a new outlook and a new perspective. Perhaps there was fear of commitment here. This guy is the master of non-attachment. Doesn't really want to attach. It's time to let go of that thought. It's time to have a new outlook. Because there's true love here. But there's been some disruptions. There's been a breakdown. Something has fallen apart. And now you have to bring it back. It's time to regain control of this situation. You have to take the lead. Instead of remaining detached and cold hearted. And I'm not, I'm sorry, this is what this card says. Withdrawn. It's time to close that door 
to the past, to who, who, what, what, who, what, where, when, and look at things from a new perspective. When I say close the door to the past, to the past thoughts, to the, to the past you, do you know what I mean? You can't point the finger at somebody else. It's time to close the door to the past ways, okay? To look at things at, from a new outlook. That's what I'm trying to say. It's time to let go of who, who you were in the past so that you can ascend into the new you. That's what I'm trying to say. There's been some criticism. All right. And it's time to have no fear and move forward. Head in the direction of your love. Okay? Head in the direction of love, period. Because there's a new opportunity being presented to you for new growth. This is what this was. It brought you growth. Whatever has happened has brought you growth. This opportunity has brought you growth. I see a new partnership on the horizon for you. Should you look at things from a new perspective. And use your inner power. Okay? This is telling me you're not listening to your inner guide. It feels like you're, there's some secrets here that you're keeping in. But your inner guide is telling you what you need to do. You don't really need this tarot reading. You know what you need to do. But you're holding back. And there you are, Pisces. And this is Pisces, too. This is Pisces and Taurus. Okay? So this right here is Pisces. The fear. Fear of the unknown. Will I be rejected? There's hidden forces here. Okay? And I believe it's karmic hidden forces. And you are being called to take action right now. Act now. Think later. Before it's too late. That is what this card means. Act now. Think later. It's time to regain the balance in your life. Okay? It's time for a renewal. Everything that has happened has brought you growth. And has happened for a reason. So that you could blend and compromise and cooperate. Blend, copper, compromise, cooperate. Heal, renew with your love, okay? All right, we have the lover's card now. There is a soulmate connection here, Pisces. All you have to do is step out of your comfort zone and offer your love. Could be somebody from your past. Could be somebody new. You figure that out. Your heart and mind is giving you the answer. With the high priestess and the hierophant, that's also a soulmate connection. They're both here. They're both the sign of Taurus and Pisces. Okay. Um, the high priestess represents Pisces and Taurus. The hierophant represents Taurus. You do have Aquarius. You have Sagittarius. You have a lot of different signs here. So it could be any sign. Um, anyhow... There's a soulmate connection in many, many, many of these cards. And for many of you, it's somebody from your past. Mo the majority, I believe, it's somebody that you know, somebody from your past. For some of you, it could be somebody new. But I think for the majority, it's somebody from your past because of these queens reversed in this card right here. It's like this is observation, wanting to speak to somebody, wanting to communicate, just observing from afar instead of doing it. And it's somebody that you know. Okay? It is. And it's, you're being urged to take action because right now you are, your hopes and wishes are not being fulfilled. And I feel, you know, like I said earlier, shit rolls downhill. When your love life isn't good, your finances aren't good either. That's just the way it is, typically, most of the time. It's a time of growth. I think you guys have went through a period of growth and you're dealing with a karmic situation that needs to be dealt with. And you need to take control of this situation, okay? 
It's time for you to invest and speak up. Cleanse and detoxify. With great love and respect, we ask you to detoxify your precious and sensitive body. At your request, we'll help you to develop life-affirming ways to deal with stress, as well as ease any sorrow at shedding your old ways. It's funny that I mentioned that earlier. That's what it is. It's about shedding your old ways. Remember when I couldn't think of the words? You can't point the finger at anybody else. I think this is what's going on. It's you shedding your old ways and becoming new. And now you have to step out of your comfort zone. Okay? It is about shedding your old ways. That's what this reading is about. And you can't point the finger at somebody else. And if you do, then you're going to... You, that's a karmic lesson you need to learn. Okay? Give your cares, worries, and concerns to us and feel the beautiful grace of your newly purified body. It's time to shed the old ways so that things can blossom. There is definitely somebody in the past that you are clinging to. I can't change that. If you love this person from your past, act now. Have no fear. If you look up the Knight of Wands, look it up. Act now. It's time to take back control of your life. That's what I have, Pisces. Talk to you later.